What's going on YouTube? Today we're gonna be doing mechanics test, gunsmith part 1. You will require all the parts listed on your screen right now to complete the test. Firstly, you'll need the MP133 shotgun. This weapon is pretty common. If you happen to find one in raid, ensure that the durability is 60% or above. To purchase this gun, you can get it from Jaeger level 1. Next, you'll need the Zenit RK64 grip, which can be purchased from skill level 1. Next, you'll need the MP133 custom plastic four stock with rails. This one is from mechanic level 1. You have to trade it with one hard drive, which is pretty simple. You can get these hard drives from computers. And there are a lot of computers on interchange map. So I would highly recommend you go there. The next item that you need is the MP133 plastic pistol grip. Which is obtainable from Jaeger level 1. Alternatively, you can trade two huge pliers and one screwdriver to get an MP123 shotgun which has the pistol grip as well as the custom plastic four stock. Next, you'll need the MP133 12GA 6 shell magazine. Ensure that there are no shells inside the magazine. You can get this from Jaeger level 1. Next, you'll need the NC Star Tactical Blue Laser from skill level 1. After that, you'll need the ME Cylinder 12GA Muzzle Adapter. This one you can get it from Jaeger level 1. And finally the hardest part to get for Gunsmith Part 1 is the GKO2 Muzzle Brake which can only be obtainable from Jaeger level 2. So if you're at lower levels, completing Jaeger's task and also to get to level 2. Jaeger is pretty hard as the level requirements is high. If you have access to the flea market, I would highly suggest you get it from there. Otherwise, from my experience, I've gotten the GKO2 from a scav that spawned with this item. And also, if you go to woods, there's a shack near the tent where you always loot the flash drive. This is actually near the lumber mill. I found GKO2 spawning right inside the shack, so be sure to check out this spot. Once you have all the parts, now let's assemble the weapon. First of all, ensure that your weapon durability is above 60% and then there are no shells or ammo inside your chamber as well as your magazine. Alright, now you can take out the buttstock and then drag in the pistol grip. After that, if you're using a 4 shell magazine, you want to replace it with the 6 shell magazine. Next, you want to drag out the 4 stock and then drag in the custom plastic 4 stock. Now you can drag in the RKO6 and also the NC Star Laser. Finally, drag in the ME Cylinder as well as the GKO2. You should be able to turn in your gun to mechanic to complete the task. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit that like and also that bell icon. I'll catch you next time.